This is really a, an amazing collaborative effort. It's not my team, it's just my colleagues and collaborators um, from around the world, and not just academic centers, even industry partners who helped and providing data from, from you know, large trials that they conducted, and they shared their data from, from their imaging studies. So it's really one of the, you know, the first true uh, data-driven uh, response criteria in oncology, I would say larger scale data-driven response criteria in oncology. Um, the reason why we did this is uh, multiple reasons. One is that in the era of targeted therapy uh, and basket protocols and basket trials, we're, in, we're including patients with different cancers in the same trial. So you can have a lymphoma or breast cancer or lung cancer, they're all can be eligible for treatment with a PI3 kinase inhibitor or you know, whatever. Yeah? But we have different response criteria where for solid tumors we use RESIST and for lymphoma we use the Lugano criteria. RESIST use unidimension and Lugano use bidimension. RESIST use up to five lesions, Res you know, Lugano six lesions. Resist use uh, short access for lymph nodes, long access for non-lymph nodes. So there are multiple differences and variations. So then a patient who can be viewed as responding by resist can be scored as non-responding by lymphoma within the same trial, which is crazy. So we tried to harmonize these two uh, to bring them together so we can interpret the results of early clinical trials in a more uh, effective way. So that's the initial driver behind this. So we simplified the Lugano criteria going from bi-dimension to unidimension, simplified the measurement from like the short axis to long axis, which is easier, more producible, data-driven. And we, again, based on data, reduced the number of target lesion required to do the assessment from six to three. Uh, and I think this is, uh, in my opinion, a major advancement in the field. It's not perfect. Uh, it will never be perfect. So there's need for uh, collecting more data and further revise it and refine it. But I think it's further you know, a step forward uh, to improve the interpretation of clinical trials.